All right, the focus question for today is how can I write the equation of a circle? in standard form. We're going to be talking about writing the equation of a circle in standard form. So the standard form the equation of a circle with a center at the point represented by the letters H and K Basically, the, the H is your X value at the center, and the K is your Y value at the center. And a radius R that equation is The letter x and then the opposite of the x value at the center squared plus the letter y and the opposite of the y value at the center equal to the radius squared. <coughs> All right, so if we're asked or you're asked to write an equation of each circle, And maybe the center, the center is at 1, negative 8. And the radius is equal to 7. Your equation would be x. And then the opposite of the x value at the center. So you're going to do x minus 1 squared. plus left parenthesis and the letter y and then the opposite of your y value at the center which would be positive 8 squared and that's all going to be equal to the radius squared so 49 Let's do a center at zero four. Radius equal to three. Now your equation is x and the opposite of the x value at the center. But you don't write x minus one squared. So this is just going to be x squared plus x squared is the same as x minus 0 squared. You don't write the minus 0 part. Then the letter y and the opposite of your y value at the center. So minus 4 
squared equals the radius squared. 3 squared is 9. Correct. Because look in the look in the standard form. <clears throat> if you go back to this definition. Standard form of the equation of a circle with a center at HK and a radius R is X minus H. Do you see how this H in, in here is positive? This H in here is positive right now. And in these parentheses, it says x minus h. So that means the letter x and the opposite of the x value at the center. All right, close the parentheses, square it, plus, left parenthesis, the letter y. And this says minus k. And if k is the y values, where k is sitting in this description, k is sitting where the y value would be in a coordinate. So this right here is another way of saying y and the opposite of the y value at the center. That's what the minus k means. All right, squared equal to the radius squared. So that's the, uh, that's given the center and then writing an equation. And stay. If you're just given the equation, if you were given x minus 5 squared plus y plus 2 squared equals 25, given that equation, and you were asked, what is the center? Well, where would that center be located? It would be at 5, negative 2. Good. And what would the radius of that circle be equal to? The radius would be 5. Okay. This equation, x squared plus y squared equals 100. Let's make it equal to, let's make it 100. All right. What are the values of this? What are the x and y coordinates of the center? Zero, zero. Yeah, very good. Zero, zero. That's the origin. And the radius would be equal to 10. <coughs> okay. Any questions on either of those steps? Turn the page. Look at the top of 758. Write an equation of the circle. Now you're going to be asked to write an, equa write an equation of a circle with a center. And this circle has a center of negative 2, 4. and passes through negative six seven write an equation of a circle with a center negative two four and passes through negative six seven all right so based on what you just did what are you missing you're missing the radius. So if they give you the center and they give you a point that the circle passes through, then graph the information that they give you. <clears throat> so the center of the circle is at negative 2, 4. So negative 2, 4. I'm going to make it red. There's the center of the circle. They tell you that the circle passes through negative 6, 7. So 
negative 6, 7 would be somewhere about here. That's a point on the circle, isn't it? So you're given the center and you're given a point on the circle. If you connect those two, what does that represent? That represents the radius. Now, the book says to do the distance formula to find the radius. I think it's a lot easier to just turn this thing into a right triangle and then do what? The Pythagorean theorem, because you've been doing it all year. So this vertical leg of this right triangle would be how long? Three. Very good. And the horizontal leg? Four. Does anybody recognize that triangle? Okay, 3 squared plus 4 squared equals r squared, doesn't it? 9 plus 16 equals r squared. 25 equals, so when you radical each side, 5 equals r. So your radius is equal to 5. So now you've got all the information needed to write the equation. See it? Here to here would give you that piece. Here to here would give you that piece. So the equation is the letter X and the opposite of X at the center. So plus 2 squared plus the letter Y and the opposite of the Y value at the center, minus 4 squared, equals, radius is 5 squared is 25. <clears throat> All right, so you can write the equation given the radius and the center. You can write the equation given the diameter in the center. And you can write an equation now given the center and a point on the circle, right? Everybody okay with those three different situations? All right. The last type of problem you're going to get today, you're going to be given, given an equation of a, of a circle, and you're going to have to find the coordinates at the center and the measure of the radius, and then you're going to be asked to graph the equation. So, given x squared plus y squared minus 8x plus 2y equals negative 8. State the coordinates of the center the radius. All right, so the, fir the first thing you're going to do is you're going to rewrite this equation in a form that looks a little bit closer to the standard form. So you're going to write x squared, and then you're going to partner it up with the minus 8x, and you're going to put a blank right here. And since the y squared is positive, we're going to write plus y squared. We're going to pair it with the y, the 2y, so plus 2y. We're going to put another blank right here. 
and we're going to make it equal to the negative 8. And back in Algebra 1, when you were factoring polynomials, you used a method that was called completing the square method. All right? This is the beginning of a trinomial. This is the beginning of a, these are two terms in a perfect square trinomial. And you can complete this perfect square by having this value and then doubling it. Okay? I take that back. You're going to half that value and you're going to square it. All right? So watch. You're going to take negative 8. What's half a negative 8? Four. 4. So you're going to take negative 8, you're going to divide it by 2, and you're going to get negative 4. And then you're going to square that. And negative 4 squared equals what kind of 16? Positive 16. So we just added 16 to the left-hand side of this equation, right? So if you add 16 to the left side, you have to add 16 to the right side. Now you're going to repeat that process with this positive 2. What is 2 divided by 1? That equals 2. And what's 2 squared? Four. Positive 4. So we're going to put a positive 4 right here. Because I meant, why did I divide the 2 by 1? I'm supposed to divide the 2 by 2. And what's 2 divided by 2? 1. And what's 1 squared? So what gets added out here? Positive 1. So positive 1. So if we add positive 1 here, we have to add positive 1 here. OK? <coughs> Now, you've created a perfect square trinomial right here and another one right here. So you can factor this thing and make it look more like standard form of a circle. So watch. If you take the letter x, and with the letter x goes this negative 4. So x minus 4 squared. All right? x squared minus 8x plus 16 is a perfect square trinomial, and its square root is x minus 4. And then you add it to, what's going to go in this set of parentheses? You're going to go y, and then the plus 1 squared equals the negative 8 plus 16 would be 8 plus 1 is 9. So where's the center of this circle? 4, negative 1. And what's the radius equal to? Radius equals 3. So your last step is to graph it. Four, negative one, and a radius of three. So we go to four and negative one. Radius of three. So we're going to be about three units away and three units away. So something that looks like that. Uh-oh. <laughs> That's bad. The point is having an idea of where that circle is going to be going. Oof. That's closer. All right. Four negative ones, your center. Radius. Just make sure you go three units vertical and three units 
vertical, and then three units right, three units left. Okay. This part right here? Yeah. Okay. Let's just, let me do another one real quick. Um, let me see if they got one here handy. Let's try this one. Let's say you got x squared. x squared plus y squared plus 8x minus 14y plus 40 equals zero. <clears throat> First thing you want to do in this case is you want to subtract 40 from each side. And then I'm going to repair up this left side. All right. So you're going to take the x squared and you're going to pair the positive 8x with it. You're going to leave some room. And then you got y squared and the minus 14y is going to go with it, leave some room, equals negative 40. Okay? You all right with that part? Yeah. Okay. Now, the completing the square technique, you take half of this middle term and you square it. So what's half of 8? 4. Square it is. So we're going to add 16 and we're going to add... 16. Now half of this middle term was positive 4, wasn't it? That's where the factoring is coming from. You'll see it in a second. All right. What's half of negative 14? Negative 7 squared positive 49. So you add 49 to both sides. Taking half of this gives you your factor. So when you write this in factored form, it's going to be x plus the 4 squared plus y minus the 7 squared equals um, negative 40 and 49 would be what, 9? Plus 16 is... 25. Why don't you want to like switch it yeah, from negative like 7 to 7? Your assignment for today is going to be on page 60. No, page 760. Page 760. Thirteen through twenty. And twenty four and twenty five. Answer the focus question, check headline. <clears throat> 